What is going on everybody out there in YouTube land? Revolution Hell Cowboy here. And I'm back with another WWE 2015 trading card box break. That's right, got myself a second box. And these are hard to find, believe it or not. People ask me all the time, can you get me a box? Is there a way you can trade one to me? You know what, I'm sorry if, if you have a hard time finding them. That probably means there were some at the time at your store. And, well, these, they're flying off the shelves like crazy. And it's because everybody wants this thing, you know, this thing inserts and the relics. Because remember, at Walmart, you can only get the Sting inserts and autograph relics. Remember that. And you're not always guaranteed to get an autograph, but you always will get an insert in every pack. It'll be with the randomly, you know, inserted relic. The, you know, last box I got a Seth Rollins relic. And I'm probably going to keep it for anyone wondering. So it depends on what I get on this box, if whether or not it's a relic I'll be trading. So, um, like usual, my new thing is I'm going to actually save the relic and the sting insert for the end of the box. So, I first need to make sure I don't pull it out by accident. If somebody didn't, alright. I see it, I have not looked at it yet, I just want to make sure that I haven't spoiled it for myself yet. You know, I want to be as surprised as you guys. Alright, so box as usual, nothing to it really. I mean, it's about the same as all every box. You got... Hogan, Sting, and Cena on the front. Roman Reigns and AJ Lee on top. Flair and Hart on the side. All the, you know, odds of five insert cards on the side. And Sting on the side. Alright. So let's open up the first pack. Or whatever, you know. Sometimes I start with the last pack. But since I'm saving the relic for last, it doesn't really matter. Alright. The Rock says it doesn't matter. Alright. Starting off with the first pack, we got a Cameron card. I'm going to move these off a little bit. Got Eric Rowan. A Blackboard Big Show. I didn't put my two parallels out last time, so I had everybody guess in the comments because I I figured what, who they were after I was done with the video. So I just thought, you know, see what, what you know parallels I get this time. We got, woo! Evolution wins the World Tag Team Championship. There's Ric Flair and Batista. Yes, yes, yes. Team Hell No wins the WWE Tag Team Championship. The Miz. And a Kofi Kingston. Alright. Start out pretty good so far in the in this box. Alright. I'm gonna grab this other pack over here. Alright. We have John Cena, who will be at WrestleMania this year. Our truth. Scott Stanford. Oh no. Damien Sandow betrays Cody Rhodes for the Money in the Bank contract. For Max T, we have Colin Cassidy. Fernando. And Eden. I always figure it's always easier to open the packages from the bottom rather than the top. It just always seems to work better that way for me. Alright, we got El Torito, George the Animal Steel, Paul Heyman, we have, this is awesome, D-Generation X reunites at Raw 1000. We have USA, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Christian, and Bo Dallas. We have Luke Harper, Lana, hmm, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Jason Albert, we have, you still got it, Goldust, we haven't seen much of Goldust as of late, since they decided to put Stardust in the Intercontinental Ladder match, so I wonder what they're going to do with Goldust, I guess we'll have to see. From XT, we have Bull Dempsey, Alicia Fox, and Randy Orton. David Otunga, wow, we have not seen him since, God, it's been, what, three years now? I don't remember the last time I saw that guy on TV. He's like WWE's PR person nowadays. Brie Bella, AJ Lee, so we got two of the four participants of the Divas Tag Team match at WrestleMania. Now it's got to find Nikki and Paige. <laughs> One more match, Cowboy Bob Orton 
I don't know. Don't really care too much. One more match, Bruno San Martino. Eh, nah. Bruno's a good guy. I mean, he's one of the greatest world champions of all time. You know, had the two of the longest reigns in WWE World Championship history. But, you know, I don't see him ever turn to the ring. But, I don't know, it'd be cool to see him appear in a WWE ring, I guess. <laughs> Santino Morella. And to me, it's Snuka. Hey, by the way, these two used to date on, you know, in storyline a long time ago. <laughs> kind of funny to pull those two to get in the same pack at the same time. Just a little random tidbit. Alright, Curtis Axel. Hashtag Axelmania. <laughs> Diego. Jack Swagger. We have Yes, Yes, Yes. Daniel Bryan defeats Triple H at WrestleMania 30. Yeah, it sucks he's not going to be in the world title match this year, but at least he'll be in the Air Continental Ladder match. So that's just as good, I guess. And I feel that match will be much better than the match for Lesnar and Reigns. Just my opinion. We have Hulk Hogan wins the 1990 Royal Rumble. Zeb Coulter. And Rowdy Roddy Piper. And I don't know if I got another... Parallel. If I missed it, I'm sorry. I know sometimes you'll probably get at most two parallels per box. I mean, that's how it usually seems. Alright, we have Kane, the corporate dumbass, as Orton called him. Oh, there's Paige. Alright, we got a blackboard Cameron. Alright, so I believe this will be my second um, blackboard parallel card for this box. I believe. If I missed one, feel free to, no to let me know in the comments. Alright, we got Woo! Ric Flair is inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. We have another, woo! Ric Flair def defeats Jeff Jarrett for the WWE Championship. Gerald Briscoe. And Rosa Mendez. Alright, we are down to three more packs. And then I will show you guys the Sting insert and the relic. Alright, we have Seth Rollins. Tony Chimmel. Brett the Hitman Hart. We have This Is Awesome. Daniel Bryan suffered a Batista Bomb RKO combo through a table. From XT, Sawyer Fulton, Jared King Lawler, and Eve Marie. Alright, second to last pack. Let's see if we can pull something real nice. And by the way, if you didn't see my last jumbo pack open, let's just say I have one of my best pulls in a long time. I'll put links in the description to all my previous jumbo packs and my box opening that I did before this one, so yeah, just check those ones out. Alright, got the Ultimate Warrior. Michael Cole, may I have your attention please? Marie, say that. Layla. USA. Undertaker, when he used to be American Badass, you know he'll be come back course as, you know, the, the Phenom as usual. To take on Bray Wyatt. We have USA, Hulk Hogan. Daniel Bryan. And Brock Lesnar. Yeah, get out of here, Brock. Yeah, if any of you guys listen to my RHC Talks, my little podcast style show, you all already know by now that I am not crazy about Brock Lesnar, and I am ready for him to drop that title. Just, that's just how I feel. But I'm not going to talk too much about that right now. Alright, here's Goldust. Dean Ambrose. Adam Rose. You still got it, Chris Jericho. Oh yeah, he definitely, he, he definitely still got it. I can't wait till next time we see him in the ring again. And though we're not going to see him as much as we used to, but, you know, hey. Chris has done it all. He doesn't have much more to prove when it comes to, you know, being in the ring. All right, we have Callisto from XT. We have Bod News Barrett and Renee Young. So that's it. That's it for the packs. So now, Moment of Truth are the Sting insert and the Relic, which they package them together, and I didn't know that until I got my first box. So now I do know that. So for the Sting insert, we have Sting Squadron. Sting Squadron defeats the Alliance. So I guess that'd be Sting's team versus Rick Rude's team. Now for the Relic. Ooh, it's a Big E uh, shirt relic. And at least easier to see this time. When I got my Seth Rollins relic, I couldn't even tell that it was there until I had to look real close because the light was kind of screwing with it. But, there you go. So, that's it. That was my latest WWE Tops 2015 box opening. Got some decent cards, and I think I got a lot of cards I don't own. So I may be closer to completing the set. But yeah, just some good cards in general. And hopefully I can get my hands on some more boxes. And I'll tell you, those $3 coupons that come with the jumbo packs, they do come in candy. So 
just keep that in mind. If you guys do get those general packs and get the you know the coupons, make sure you keep them because they do really help you out. I mean, it only saves you three bucks. The boxes are like twenty dollars, but still, hey, gotta save some money, right? Well, that's it for now. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Trades by far messages, even though I may prefer that you guys send me a message on Facebook. Because I don't really like YouTube's message system all that much anymore. So, check me out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash RevLCowboy. Or my group, you know, RHC Reviews on YouTube. Or Twitter at RevLCowboy. Instagram. So on and so forth. As always, I am Revolutionary Cowboy. Rock on, and keep collecting.